figuring out which thyroid supplements to take for hypothyroidism can be confusing. This video will show how certain supplements can act as an integral part of your healing. 1. Omega-3 Fatty Acids Most people that eat today's highly processed diet are exposed to high levels of oils, like genetically modified corn and soy that are high in omega-6 fatty acids. The problem with this is that when omega-6 fatty acids outnumber omega-3 fatty acids in the diet, increasing levels of inflammation are seen. This sets the stage for an array of diseases that include autoimmune thyroiditis, diabetes, obesity, and cancer. When it comes to autoimmunity, the role of omega-3 fatty acids from fish oil is well documented. Omega-3 fatty acids have anti-inflammatory properties, and studies have found that they can decrease disease activity and lower the use of anti-inflammatory drugs. The best way to guarantee that you are getting optimal amounts of omega-3 fatty acids is to consume wild-caught fatty fish like salmon and mackerel three to four times per week. Fish and seafood not only contain omega-3 fatty acids, but they also contain important vitamins and minerals that act like antioxidants. Another option is to supplement with fish oil. As fish oils are highly volatile and can be easily oxidized when exposed to heat, it is important to find fish oil supplements that are blended with antioxidants. Studies have found omega-3 fatty acids mixed with olive oil extracts to be effective in combating inflammation. 2. Selenium Studies have found that taking selenium supplements every day can decrease thyroid antibodies. Selenium is also a crucial ingredient needed to form thyroid hormones. A selenium deficiency can not only decrease the amount of thyroid hormones that are formed, but it can exacerbate an autoimmune condition. The best way to take selenium is combining it with vitamin E and thyroid medication if you take it on an empty stomach in the morning. 3. Zinc The majority of people with Hashimoto's thyroiditis have a deficiency in zinc. This has to do with the fact that zinc needs a good amount of stomach acid to be sufficiently absorbed. People with Hashimoto's typically have low levels of stomach acid, hindering the optimal absorption of nutrients like zinc. Zinc deficiency is often the cause for hair loss associated with an underactive thyroid. A case study done on a woman with severe alopecia or hair loss, scaly lesions on her scalp, and hypothyroidism found that supplementing with thyroid medication did nothing for her hair loss. When zinc supplementation was added to her therapy, the scaly lesions disappeared within a month, and she had complete hair regrowth within four months. 4. B-complex vitamins A deficiency in vitamin B, and especially B12, can cause fatigue, muscle aches and weakness, and depression and anxiety, all symptoms associated with hypothyroidism. Other B vitamins are equally as important in boosting the metabolism, as they are responsible for drawing energy from the foods that we eat and from body fat. Since people with hypothyroidism suffer from lower metabolism, it is important for this population to also take a B-complex vitamin. This will work synergistically with thyroid medication to enhance metabolism. 5. Iodine, but only if you need it. You usually don't need iodine supplements if you live in the United States or most developed countries. Some alternative medicine specialists suggest iodine tablets or kelp supplements, which are high in iodine, for hypothyroidism. An underactive thyroid, hypothyroidism, occurs when your body doesn't make enough thyroid hormones for your body's needs. It's true that not having enough iodine can cause hypothyroidism. But iodine deficiency has been rare in the United States and other developed countries since iodine has been added to salt and other foods. If the underactive thyroid isn't caused by iodine deficiency, then iodine supplements give no benefit and shouldn't be taken. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and don't forget to give this video the thumbs up. And I'm sure you're going to enjoy this next video on the 20 symptoms of thyroid problems you need to know. Thanks for watching and bye for now.